All right, we got the uh, hard disk installed and we're booting. And there we are. As you see, the hard disk is called E for the TIPC. That is because A, B, C and D were reserved for floppy drives. IBM machines of the time only had A and B for floppy drives and they had the twisted cable, as you might remember. So you have to set all floppy as the zero floppy and then the twist makes it an A or a B. This machine doesn't have that. There is no twist in the cable and you have to set the jumper on the back of the floppy at zero, one, two or three and as such you can make it an A, B, C or D drive. Well obviously we have this one as A and then the Winchester, as they call it, is selected as E. Um, this is the A drive, the floppy, and that still works as well. If we go to E, there is not much on there right now, just a directory for the TI DOS. And that's how that works. Now, if we do W format. This is how you initialize the uh, hard disk. This is different from the IBM machines of the time. Actually, this is much simpler. Remember, at the, ABI, uh, at the IBM machines, you had to start the debugger and then start a routine on the uh, on the uh, uh, controller card. That was a, a C800 slash 4 command, if my memory serves me right. And then you start a routine to do a low level format. For this machine, that's not necessary. You just type W format, and then you can select from a menu what floppies you want to, what hard disks you want to uh, format, low level format. You don't have to do any F disk after that, it is immediately available as a DOS drive. So that was actually done much better by TI. For, for our machine here, I have selected the 20 megabyte drive, which seems to be the largest available. Actually, I don't have a mini scribe. This is actually a Seagate 225, if I'm not mistaken. And that seems to be fully compatible with the mini scribe because it formatted normally. Uh, obviously, we're not gonna do this now because I already did this. But that's uh, how you initialize that uh, hard disk, or Winchester as it was called in those days. And here we see the hard disk controller. That is a hard to find card. But I did find it and I did put it in there. And it works fine. <laughs>